For all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea or lovely tea.net. Thanks for your support and stay tuned for the video. You guys, welcome to Lovely News Network. So we have another crazy story for you guys. And once again, it's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? So what's going on is that this situation is extremely disturbing. It's a case of two young girls. One is 11 and one is 12 years old. And basically, um, they had plotted to kill a bunch of children in their middle school. And thank God, by the grace of God, their plan was foiled. So what happened is that basically the school robocalled one of the parents to let them know that their child was not in second period. She was there in first period and then she never checked into the second period. So the mother caught the school back and was like, no, she should be in class, she should be there. So at that point, the authorities in the school got really worried and they went searching for these young girls only to find them in the bathroom and they discovered that in that bathroom, they were hiding four knives, a pizza cutter, a knife sharpener, and a goblet. And they were going to use the goblet after, you know, whatever student walked into the bathroom. They were going to kill as many students as they could as they walked into the bathroom. So they were planning on stabbing them and then basically using the pizza cutter to dismember their body. This is how young-minded these girls are, that they think a pizza cutter can, you know, dismember a human body, okay? And then they had the goblet there because whatever blood came from the victims, they were going to drink the blood. These young girls are self-professed practicing Satanist. At the age of 11 and 12, they were talking about killing 15 to 25 students to sacrifice them for Satan. This is some really sick, demonic stuff. You know, I talk about spiritual stuff all the time. You know, people try and clown me for it. It is what it is. You know, there's a lot of evil in this world. There's a lot of evil entities and spirits and things like that. And if you're not careful, they can overtake you. You know, this is like the Slender Man case all over again. I talked about the whole Slender Man situation. It took place uh, several years ago in Wisconsin where the two girls basically try to sacrifice their friend, the third member of their little clique to Slender Man and they took her out to the woods and stabbed her like 20 times or something like that and by the grace of God that little girl lived. So this entire situation is just really disturbing. A lot of folks are talking about this online. Once again, it's in, you know, Ratchet, Florida. Let me go ahead and play this news clip for you guys. The police are talking about this. Once again, it's coming from our favorite county in Florida, Pinellas County. Your knife, pizza cutter scissors. These are some of the weapons an 11 and 12 year old brought to Bartow Middle School on Tuesday to allegedly kill classmates. They wanted to kill at least 15 people and were waiting in the bathroom for the opportunity to find smaller kids that they could overpower to be their victims. Extra officers were already on campus after another student reported concerns on Monday. But police tell us the plot was foiled only after one of the girl's mother called in when a robocall said she skipped school. This is horrific and if I had children in school I'd be scared slapped to death. Officers found them in the bathroom with a goblet on hand to reportedly drink their victim's blood. I mean how can these happen you know we are afraid and she's afraid. I kind of feel like maybe it might be a good idea just for some of these schools to maybe even put in metal detectors. Messages appear to show the girls plan the murders and even to kill themselves when it was done. I'm going to call them small children. They're only 11 and 12. Um, seriously sat down and plotted um, to do serious bodily harm to another student at school. During the search, officers located several knives in Western Guard's possession, including a butcher knife, um, butcher knife kitchen style knife. At that point, Bartow police detectives were brought in to conduct an investigation. Both juveniles were interviewed uh, last night by detectives, and both juveniles stated to detectives that they had been planning an attack on other students over the past couple of days. They noted that they wanted to kill at least 15 people and were waiting in the bathroom for the opportunity to find smaller kids that they could overpower to be their victims. Both juveniles stated that they are practicing Satanists. During our investigation, detectives conducted a search of the juveniles' homes, and during the search of Westergaard's residence, detectives located material containing a hand-drawn map of Bartow Middle School, which included notation or denotation, go to kill in bathroom. 
A search of the juvenile cell phones revealed conversations regarding the same plot on social media. During the last conversation, which occurred on the same days that we were talking about, Westergaard message, and I quote, Today is health lessons. Thank Satan we are doing this in a bit. End quote. Further investigation revealed conversations over the past several days concerning the plot. In one message, Westergaard advised Persinger, we will leave body parts at the entrance and then we will kill ourselves. End quote. Persinger and Westergaard were both arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit murder, possession of a weapon on school property, carry to conceal a weapon, and disruption of a school function. And that's the synopsis of the case that we're working now. Both students are in custody, and I'm going to turn the floor over to uh, the superintendent real fast and let her say a few words. Today is sad that we have students that were actually plotting and practicing to harm other students on campus. What I will say to you is I want to thank the teachers, the administrators, for when they saw something, they heard something, they said something. The plan worked, what we have in place, to go out and make sure that all of our students on the campus are safe. I say to the parents again, everyone on campus, they're safe today. Thank you to all of the principals, the assistant principals there, for following through after a parent call when the system calls them and let them know that their child was absent. That's how the system works and they go out and they look. We don't send our children to school to be harmed. And I will say this to anyone, if you plan on harming any of our children, we will take it very credible and turn it over to law enforcement. We will protect them and we'll make sure that we cooperate fully with law enforcement to ensure the safety of all of our campuses. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. Like I said, this entire situation is really disturbing. There's a lot of stuff that's going on here. We, we live in a world now where a lot of people are not parents. They're not paying attention to their kids. They're not paying attention to what their kids are watching, you know, what they're doing and things like that. You know, at the age of 11 and 12, for these girls to tell people that they're self-proclaimed Satan worshipers, I have to ask, where are the parents? How is this okay? Are the parents also Satan worshipers? You know what I'm saying? Because how do these little kids even know, how do these little girls even know at the age of 11 and 12 the extent of Satan worshiping and, and you know, sacrifice and stuff like this? And this is why a lot of kids just don't need cell phones. You know, because at this point in time, there's so much information at their fingertips. They can Google anything. They can look up anything. And their minds are not developed enough to realize and comprehend and process everything that they're absorbing so quickly. It's really scary that children this young have so much information at their fingertips, you know, and then when you have parents who are not involved, it's a recipe for disaster, you know, and I'm not trying to blame video games and movies and stuff like that, but we have to be honest that a lot of kids today are being exposed to a lot of bullshit. They're being exposed to a lot of just, you know, horrific things, violence, horrific images. And again, like I said before, they don't know how to process this. And then we also live in a world where, you know, good is bad and bad is good. And you're seeing things like this more and more in the mainstream, you know, like Satanism and stuff like that. You know, so this is just really sad. And we also live in a society where, you know, at this point in time, we're not allowed to discipline children. Everybody gets an award, you know, just for being there. It doesn't matter how much effort you give. It doesn't matter if you can't do the job or the task at hand, you get an award. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're just not preparing these kids for the real world. They're literally living in a fantasy in these school systems, you know, and then when they get into the real world and they don't hear, you know, job well done or that you're the greatest person who ever walked this earth, all of a sudden, you know, they just fall apart and they lash out and they don't know how to handle that. So we really have a generation of just lost kids out here. And this is just really scary. Imagine if a kid happened to walk in there and they really went through with this and stabbed somebody and stabbed several children, you know, to sacrifice them to Satan. This is like some really scary stuff. And this just makes you as a parent not even want to send your kids to school. It makes you just want to just homeschool your kids because, yeah, your kids might be okay, but, you know, it's the other parents and the other people's kids that you have to to worry about so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me your thoughts on this entire disturbing story once again coming from our first favorite state ratchet ass florida
Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.